you mind trying a little experiment with me? Okay. It's kind of a strange one, I'll be the first to admit. It just uses this deck of cards, and one card that does not belong inside that deck. That's a red back card. These, of course, are all blue back. And you're going to choose a card from this deck, and you're going to do it in sort of an unusual way. You're going to give me a number. Would you take those? Okay. I want you to give me a number, something not too big, not too small, like between 10 and 20 would be perfect. So any number you'd like. 13. 13. Deal 13 cards in my hand, one after another. Allow? Sure, I'll allow. It's fine. One, you can see they're two, all different. Three, four, five, six, Mixed seven, up eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. All different cards. You can put the rest of the cards on the table. Okay. Uh, any reason you chose the number 13? No. Well, it's made of a two-digit number, obviously. It's a one and a three. If we add those together, what do we get? Four. Four is my lucky number. Okay. I know you don't believe me. I'll prove it. Watch. One, two, three, and four. I land on just that card right there. Now, you could have stopped at any number, any card that was your choice. At the beginning, I shuffled up the cards. I mixed them up completely. But before all of that, I laid one card on the table. The first time, would you go ahead and turn that card over for me? Okay. You'll see a perfect match. The eight of hearts. Okay. That's why that's my lucky number. But I have to be honest, you know, these are blue back cards. It's not exactly perfect. That's a red back card. But if I rub it against your card just like this, the funny thing is it becomes a perfect match both back and front. Okay. And that part I think is amazing. But the part that I think is completely impossible, the part I can never figure out, is after all that shuffling and all that dealing, I have no idea what happened to all the cards we were just using a few seconds ago. What did happen? <laughs> you can check those out. 